Why well, hello there guys, it is Quirty Afro here, I'm bringing you my first proper Let's Play of Train Simulator 2016, this is my first video in the Let's Play series for this year of Train Simulator 2015, no 2016, yeah, get that out of my mind, I remember last year when I started 2015 I was still saying 2014 so it will be a little bit of time of getting used to but trust me I will get over it. So this is my first video doing, uh, first video doing like an actual scenario of uh, Train Simulator 2016, I'm first going to cover the three routes that come with Train Simulator to 2016, so uh, Cologne to Koblenz, uh, Sherman Hill, and uh, Riviera in the 50s. I'll do a scenario each from each of those uh, routes, so you guys get a taste of what those routes are like, of how, like, if they're updated or whatever, and all of the kind of specific locos that are, like, you know, uh, advertised with each route. And then after those three, we'll get back into the kind of normal kind of swing of things where I just do, you know, my kind of, I find different scenarios to do and I just do, you know, my kind of normal train simulator, let's play kind of series. So uh, today we are in uh, Cologne to Koblenz and we are going to be driving the BR155 and it is freight. So this is be probably my third freight video, I do believe. So my third freight video. And uh, this is actually uh, first, my first ever, I think it's my first ever German video, uh, German scenario video. So, willkommen, willkommen on board, uh, anyone that's spoken uh, the Deutsch. And uh, I promise uh, I'll try and not scrutinize uh, any of these, uh, well, I'll try. I say I try, but I think these German names are not going to be that easy for me. But I, I do apologize for all my German viewers and new German viewers that are uh, obviously not really accustomed to German language and uh, this is my first ever German video I do believe, I don't think I've done one, I'm, I'm trying to remember, no I don't think so, correct me if I'm wrong but I can't remember doing one so I think this is my first official one so I thought it would be good to kind of start it off and uh, do it as the first actual official Let's Play video for Train Simulator 2016. So before we get into the vid, um, shoutouts do go to W. Uh, w Clifton 968 and H82BU223. So that's w, uh, w Clifton 968 and H82B223. Interesting names there. Links and stuff will be down below. Uh, show them some love. I know it's what a shout out. So let's get involved into this. Good evening, driver. You're tasked with taking these hoppers at uh, to the yard at Bonn. Uh, Head off when you're ready, and remember that you may have to ask permission to pass signals, which you would press tab for. And uh, I think the scenario is called a Bon Day for Freight. So, this is the BR-155. I've never ever actually driven this, uh, <laughs> I've not ever actually driven this, uh, this, uh, this loco before. I've only kind of looked at the introduction video of it, kind of just, you know, so, oh yeah, it's, a uh, very popular German loco. It does look good though. I don't know, there's something with German loco. German locos look really nice. They really look very smart, very... Um, this this loco obviously looks very boxy and whatever, so... It's not really a long train today, but it's hopefully we're gonna uh, be able to get in the move, and uh, I hope there's not gonna be too much, uh, you know, this stuff with the PZB and stuff like that, because that scares me. But hopefully, uh... You see, this, I would love if driver assist was on for like something like this with like PZB kind of signaling because this would be like, I, I'm completely not in my element here. So let's get the reverser for it. This is a tap control, so I'm guessing that's something to do with the brakes or something like that. I'm not too sure. No, that is nothing to do with the brakes. I am completely wrong. Can we go? Cool. Request to pass signal. A danger is done. So that means we can go forward. Let's uh, start getting this, uh, this train moving. I think this is a quite a powerful train. Don't know how many notches it has. I'll just leave it at free for now. I don't want to overcook it and uh, do too much wheel slip because you know that's a lot of weight we're pulling. Train coming there. Hear the horn. Very simple. I find all the kind of German horns have very kind of simplistic 
kind of very, you know, very kind of light toned horns. And I don't know, I don't know if, that, if that's how it is, but that's how I kind of think it. Right, I think I can. Oh. Oh, <laughs> there's quite a lot of settings here. I'm looking down here actually. I was only on like three. I think there's there's quite a lot of settings here. Looks like it goes up to something like 30 or something like that. That's crazy. I hope I'm driving this correctly. Ooh, instrument lights. I like that. Looks all funky and all neon green and whatever. Alright, so we'll let that roll. Let's see what we can do here. This is a Korea scenario, so hopefully. This is. Uh, if the weather mechanics were actually that good and you had actually good sun glare or whatever, then this would be actually quite useful because uh, these are quite handy in real life. Very, very handy. Especially, I've seen like some weird adverts where like you can get some of these kind of weird things for your car as well. So these things do work in real life, but in the game, I think they're just a little bit of a gimmick, in my own opinion. Right, how are we doing? I'm not even near the the top speed, so that is good. We're not going to be stopping anywhere because obviously this is freight. No passengers here involved, only the goods that we are carrying. And hopefully everything is... Everything's comfortable in the back. If there's no livestock or anything, I feel, I would feel very sorry for them. I'm just going to have a quick look-see around this cabin, so don't really mind me. I'll just let the, the train do its little bit of driving or whatever. And uh, I'll just be just looking around here. What is this? This is the main battery. A circuit breaker, pantograph, P, uh, P, uh, I really hope the PZB isn't something I'm gonna have to really do because I have no idea what P. Like, I, I've done it. I actually, to be honest, I kind of lie that I have not done any German scenarios. I have done German scenarios, but I mainly do it on my streams because at least there people can help me out on like what the hell I'm doing. Because I remember when I done some German scenarios on my stream I've done like Munich to Augsburg and stuff like that and some other ones uh, I was literally getting all these kind of uh, <laughs> these these errors and stuff like that and people were saying no that's not how you need to turn the pubes that be on like to this to this to this and everyone was helping me and it was all good I mean it all got you know done really nice and smoothly but I've never done this by myself in a video before by myself so you know close the window, it makes a little too much noise out there. And um, I have watched PTG Rail's guide to German signaling, etc. And still, I'm broke as ever <laughs> with, with what, what, <laughs> what, I do, what I do know about German signaling. But so far, it's so good. We're moving at least, which is good. Well, at least we're going in one direction. I do like this cabinet. There's something with German trains. I just I like the kind of cabinet. It's just very, very nice. The sounds are not too bad. I see rolling. Are the lights on? Yes, I do believe they are. Yeah, the back. Yeah, yeah, that's that's on. What about the back here? All good. It's not really a long train, to be honest. But can we get a little bit of speed? I feel like we should be... Should get a little bit of speed. It's not really nice that we're just kept at this kind of very... Moderate 40 km... Oh yes, 160. Let's now turn the tap. It would be so nice if they, like, in real life... You know how you have rail driver and whatever. It would be nice to have, like, a steering wheel like this. Imagine if you could, like... PSC is locked whilst the train is moving. Oh no. It said something about PSB. PZB. Okay, well, it's locked, so maybe I don't have to do anything. That would be nice that I, I wouldn't. <laughs> I hope I don't have to do anything. I have, uh, the, I don't know any controls by key, uh, by the keyboard, but if I look down here, I have a PZB, LZB acknowledged, so I guess if anything comes up, maybe I'll just press them and go, and then just hope for the best, really. <laughs> I 
What I was also thinking to do with my German scenario videos, because I'm, I'm planning, I want to do a bit more German scenarios. I feel that I haven't done, I've done some American scenarios. I haven't really touched that many, I haven't touched at all any German scenarios on YouTube. I've just been really scared to go and do it, because it's. I find it very complicated to do. But I, I definitely want to, I know, if, if there are any German viewers out there, would you want me to start doing some more German, uh, German scenarios, etc. I, I think I'm, I'm ready. Tra it's taken me until Trade Simulator 2016 to realise I can do it. I can, I can, uh, I, I can make a video of doing a German uh, scenario. So I'll, I'll learn. I'll get the PS, PZB kind of things all, kind of, you know, learned and, and, and mastered, hopefully. Interesting with the, with the FPS. When I look down, the FPS goes. Really, when you look down, the FPS should be the best. But when I now look forward, the FPS is the best. It's kind of interesting. Right. Well, we're cruising along very nicely. Nothing too worrisome so far. It does look good, I have to say. I don't know. I just I love the red. I love the DB's cool. Very, very nice. I don't know. I just, it's, it's. I like the look of a kind of box, kind of train. I don't know why. It, it's, it's so simple. It doesn't look aerodynamic, but it just looks like a, a sturdy train. And I don't know. I just, I, I like it. But this apparently is a very old train of what I've been reading about it and stuff like that. It uh, replaces like post-World War kind of like locomotives and stuff like that. And it used to be on passenger services, but now it's just primarily on freight, which is a bit sad. I really wanted to try this out in uh, like doing like some passenger routes or whatever. Ooh, achievement unlocked. 155 speed on the... Uh, 120 kilometers. I'm not actually doing 120 kilometers as it's saying. I'm only doing 106. I don't know why I got that achievement, but hey, it's an achievement. I'll take it. Right. Let's let's like. I don't know if we should slow down. I'm not a good freight driver, so I'm not sure if <laughs> I'm. I'm so in passenger mode. I think like I need to go as fast as I can, but then maybe in freight. You have to go a bit fast, and then you have to kind of slow down, and you know, get ready for you know, changing junctions or whatever. I'm not too sure, but so far, 100. Well, it tells me to do 160. Let's let's open up the taps a bit and see how how the old girl stretches her legs. I've not actually driven as well on Col uh, Cologne uh, Koblenz. I don't. I think this is my first time as well on this map. The only German maps I do believe I have, if I can remember off the top of my head, I have Munich to Augsburg. I have Cologne to somewhere else. I can't remember the other Cologne. There's, a, there's another Cologne to somewhere else, and one more other one. I think. I'm not too sure. Don't kill me. Open up the window a little bit. Let the air in. Very nice. So nothing is going too bad. We have this thing we're approaching. Ooh, FPS is going all over the place. Come on, trade sim, wake up. Engage. The only thing I find so far extreme about this game is it's FPS. But anyway, uh, we are approaching this portal. I don't know if I, I think I should slow down maybe. Oh yeah, well you have to slow down to 120 kilometers per hour. So I'll just kind of ease off the throttle now. Oh, hold. Yes, hold please. Actually, oh no, that, that does it completely different. Ah, oh, so... Oh yeah, because it's just, it's a wheel. It can go back to the opposite way. Can add a bit of oh hello. 
A tap child of fault has been triggered. Set tap to zero. Ooh. I, I would set it to zero if you could allow me, but because it, I think it. There we go. Okay, wait for the tap to reset. Okay, thank you for telling me this because I would have been completely. And why is there an emergency brake? Okay, you can drive off. Thank you. But why did the? Uh, I guess the emergency brake had to activate there. Okay, you can stop telling me now. I get, I get the point. Okay, so lesson learned for today: doing German scenario, <laughs> doing a German scenario. If the tap thing is uh, in the hold position and you break, it's bad. <laughs> That's the first thing today I've learned with this train. And it's a pretty old train, but it looks very nice. And I like how the LEDs, you have like this nice aqua blue LEDs and then you have the nice kind of green LEDs. It's all very nice. stopping too far here, so I'm gonna open up the tap as they say. But I've been reading your gu you guys' comments on the uh, Fast Look Train Simulator 2016 video and I am I'm in agreement. I am totally in agreement. I, I, the thing I want to come like I think mostly across is I'm not really disappointed with the game. I'm like obviously like I, it was expected. Like it, it it's nothing new. I'm I'm not like bashing the game of it being you know whatever. I, it was expected. So there's nothing really to say bad already if it's already been said before. The thing I'm annoyed most about what they did with this release is I hate that they're wanting to charge people. What was that? I had a little bit of a click. I'm, I'm just annoyed that they want to charge people, like say long-term people, people that have the game, or they have all the routes that come with Train Simulator 2016. They want to charge people again, and that is the thing I really am not happy about. And that's the thing I, I want to be. I didn't. I didn't think it, it came across too much in the first video, but that's the thing I'm probably the most annoyed about. Nothing really much else. There's nothing really to be. I've already like if you need to know what I'm really annoyed about you should watch my two last vid uh, two last uh, like videos of like Train Simulator 2015 and Train Simulator 2014 when I did a first look of those because I've said everything there there's no point in me repeating every anything okay please hit me is lock thank you for telling me again but it's it's just that I hate that they wanting they want to charge people again for it and say if you have all those free routes you have to pay 25 pounds again for what, just driver assist and rail fan mode? I don't think that's fair. In any kind of stretch of, stretch of the imagination. Alright. All right, so I'm gonna take it down to, what's it again, zero. And now I'm gonna apply a bit of brake so we get down to 110 kilometers per hour. I have to say, the German scenario, uh, the scenery, I'm slightly down prefer it more. I don't know, it just every just look you can tell we're in Germany, you can tell we're not longer anywhere in the UK. That's that's something I actually do appreciate with the kind of different kind of routes and stuff like that. It doesn't look all the same. Like this really looks like, you know, look at this, these kind of constructions and stuff like that. The the motorway, the Alphabon and stuff like that. In the UK we just have fields and fields and trees and fields, like look at this, this is quite nice, nice river there, is that the river, I think the river Rhine, I'm not too sure about that, but yeah, I, I like it, I, um, and so far I like this map, this map's very nice to drive on, I don't drive too much on German maps, so when I do, it's a very nice treat for myself, this is a completely new atmosphere, completely new kind of feeling 
to what when I'm driving in train sim to when I go into some German mouse because I don't I like in, like when I play train sim in my spare time I don't really touch the German routes. The only reason I get German routes is when I maybe stream or whatever. And sometimes I was actually uh, before like early on I would get some of the German routes so I could uh, so I could do the the stopping service kind of stuff because I really like that. I love how some uh, in the German routes you have the kind of intercity stuff, you have the kind of high speed kind of stuff with the ICE trains, etc. And then you have, you know, your little city kind of commuter services where you just like a stop every few miles and a few kilometers. And I love that. And it's great. They're very responsive trains to drive. And it's, and it's, it's a bit fun for me. I like that because I like doing that in the UK. That's why I like. When I come here to Germany, I love that they have so many of these kind of things because most of their most of the routes with in train to motor for Germany have that kind of thing where you have the intercity and the kind of like the ICC ICE kind of high speed stuff, and then in the cities, like from the main stations, you can drive to like intermediate stopping stops, and I kind of like that. It's, it's kind of what I like. Li like what has uh, the German routes what has going for it. The German routes, I really do like that. But this cab, I really do like this cab. This cab's really detailed. Let's increase some power. Because we can. Well, look at all these kind of contraptions and stuff. What's this? Those are wipers. That's a horn. Uh, that's a Cipher reset. Oh, don't even, don't even let me start on Cipher. World of Subways Volume 2. Cipher on the old F90 uh, series, uh, yeah, I think it's F90 series trains. Oh, I, I don't even want to start. It was just so complicated. Uh, in Basic World of Subways Volume Two, you had the two types of trains. You had the uh, the H01, I think they're called the the newer ones. Newer ones with the kind of popping out sliding doors. The they they had walk through carriages, etc. And then you had the older F series, the F like 90 stop or whatever, and they had the kind of old uh, Cipher uh, stuff, and, and I literally, it took me, it took me literally half an hour each time when I started playing that game uh, to set up that train and just like to use the Cipher or whatever, etc. And pressing it now, I don't know, it'll completely mess up, up with my train, but hopefully it doesn't. I don't know. I I just I would need to sit down. I would need to kind of master uh, the, the, the kind of like German signaling kind of stuff with uh, with, uh, <laughs> with, uh, with, with with like all these kind of things because it is a bit more complicated than because the UK just has a simple AWS and it's uh, maybe even the kind of like uh, uh, driver vigilance system or whatever. But in German, I don't know. Maybe it's because it's like has these weird funky letters like PZB and stuff like that. It sounds like it's more complicated, but maybe it's very very similar to how I how I can drive like UK trains and stuff like that. So I don't know. I, I definitely have to, and uh, all my German viewers will probably correct me. I'll be like, yep, yeah, PZB is for this and uh, for this and for this and for this, and you need to activate it like this. And if you want to use it like this, you should do it like this. And when you're doing these trains, you should, you know, press this and this and this. And uh, I'll read those. So uh, thank you very much if you will, if you'll comment, uh, comment to me what they will do. That's awesome. Ooh. Well, this is a funky camera view. Look at that. Can I take off? Yeah, I think, yeah, we're just going past there. Look at that. That's very nice. It's almost like a, a good movie shot or something like that. But you can't drive from it. It would be, it would be nice if it would be slightly lower, because I like this angle. But you can't see anything out, you can't see any signals or whatever. Ooh, okay. Um, good for the information and stuff there, I guess. Good for those informations and stuff. Good for that. And then we have the sidekick seat here. Very nice view. You both have the kind of equal views because it's basically a symmetrical kind of cuboid box. And But you don't get anything in front of you. Do you get anything to play with here? I don't think so. And then we have again the PZB. Oh, we have... <gasps> Look at that. So the driver gets a nice automatic one. Apparently here you have like an automatic wiper. 
while the companion has to <laughs> has to oh no he can he can oh base ah so if there's an electrical fault here the companion can just you know take over and, and the, the driver will be like uh, I don't know what's a typical German name like Philip or something like that Philip you take over and uh, links, rechts, links, rechts, links, rechts, and keep it going until I say so. <laughs> it's like, put your hand into it now. I cannot see where I'm going. <laughs> but you know, I don't know. That's fun. That's quite, that, that's quite a bit of fun. Anyway, let's... Is that all the cameras? Yeah, that's all the cameras. Let's get back to... Let's get back to driving the train. <laughs> Increase the power as well. Ooh, 30 is the max. I was correct at the beginning. We could go up to 30 notches. That's very nice. What is this as well? I've seen that this thing lights up. This FML. I am guessing all these, all these little, you know, abbreviations mean something. It means I'm. I don't know if it means I'm on certain part of a line or track or section where it's certain rules or I'm not sure. H T E F M L M T S S dash G is H B. They sound like they sound honestly just sound like H B. Um, they, they sound like Stadler Stadler pencil drawing um, codes, <laughs> in my own opinion. But you know, P Z Z is locked while moving. Thank you for telling me that. Is that the, yeah, that's all the cameras. Very nice. But yeah, this can, I don't even know what this this is obviously some sort of radio. Oh, the radio works. Oh, I don't want to press anything. I'm scared I might muck something up. Uh, ooh, it lights up. Ooh. Very nice. So that just, I guess, oh, just, oh, that's, that's cute. It just lights up. All right, so we're just going past uh, Sinzig, Rain, Rain. I feel that this is sort of reaching the max speed of this unit. I don't know how fast this unit can go. So obviously we can go 160 on this line, but apparently, I don't know. I hope, oh, let me zoom in a bit, oh, I'm going to lay off the throttle, because I see a, uh, I see something I don't want to be seeing. It says I need to go via the Cologne uh, carriage depot. But I'm not too sure about this because obviously I saw a little bit of an amber yellow warning light there. And I'm okay, so I know what the PZB acknowledge thing is. So if anything severe comes on, I know what to do. Hopefully, I hopefully know what to do. But that looks good. That looks like green, yellow, green, green. That seems to me we have still a bit of. I'm gonna slightly. Oh, I'm going. Oh, I'm glad I didn't lose any points there. But I'm gonna slightly slow down here. I don't. I don't want to. I just want to be. I just want to be. You know. I just want to be cautious here. I don't. I don't, I don't I'm not sure what's 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 going to happen here. I'm hopeful. I'm hoping. We still have green signals or whatever, but I'm just going to slow down just, 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 just as a bit of caution, just, uh, just so nothing out of the blue happens, and I'm not okay. We have green, green, and then a little white, which means I think we're changing track, maybe a little bit. That's why I'm guessing in the in a British signal tell me but I don't know German signals and again I watch PTG Rails German <laughs> signaling guide and I st it still doesn't help me and you probably watch it a good few times I, I have, have watched it a good few times I'll leave a link down below 
if you don't know what I'm talking about, PTG Rail, another fellow YouTuber, makes uh, these route learning videos and very professional um, videos are basically of someone who knows what they're doing in train sim, and he made uh, a uh, he's made a British uh, signaling guide and a German signaling guide. I'll leave a link down below for the German one, as it's appropriate to this video. But I think we are all right. I think we, yeah. I'll just leave it coast a little bit. We are not in any sort of particular rush. I think. Not too sure. Well, we'll just increase it now because I think it's all green. Ooh, hello. Very nice. I love this location. It's absolutely on the money. Very nice. It's very peaceful. Like I find, like when I'm driving on these German uh, routes, it's just so much more pe much more peaceful to drive on than the UK routes. I don't know why. Maybe I just associate the UK with rush hour and just you know. You know, just the kind of UK, kind of the general kind of things with UK railways, but I've never been too much on German, on German trains or anything like that, so, you know. Right, so we're just going to coast it a bit now, because we're coming up to 100. And the FPS tanks, as, well, as normal. It turns beautifully, actually, I have to say. That's what I like to see. Green. Green and some white. Green and some white. All green. Perfect. What else? What else would I need? And we are coming up to Oberwinter. Oberwinter. That's how you say it. it. Sounds very basic to <laughs> it's one of the most basic German train names, uh, train station names I think I've ever seen. Oberwinter, Oberwinter. But as I said, over the coming, you know, week or two, or whatever, I will have uh, all the. Uh, I will have all the. I'll have videos done for each of the different maps I've come with Train Simulator 2016. So this is the first one on Cologne Koblenz with the main loco. This being this fabulous BR. I don't say class. It's BR. BR155. And uh, the next one I do video. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back home to the UK before we head over across the pond. We'll go next. We'll go to uh, the Riviera in the 50s and drive the uh, Castle class steam locomotive with driver assist of course no way I'm doing that without any driver assist but this apparently this I like that this has a, it's in a way a light kind of driver assist if you know what I mean because you saw back there I did you know something obviously a little bit wrong there by putting it into hold I put the tap um, thing into hold and uh, it corrected me and said look maybe you need to put it like this adjust it like this it'll come off like this and then you'll drive off so Technically, this locomotive does have a does it has driver assist in its own way. I think like they should carry on this driver assist and kind of hopefully make it so that more com like, it doesn't have to be just with steam. I think more complicated kind of like you know as especially with German um, locomotive locomotives like this one, like ones that I might not be too used to. With having that kind of driver assist there, if I didn't have that, I, I don't know what the hell would have happened. I think we would have stopped there, probably had a, an hour kind of sleep break or something like that while I decided how, how to how to move off. Nice little station here, nice little, nice little ter terrace, oh, very nice. It's just very nice, it doesn't even look like a train station, look at this, it looks like some modern kind of flat house here someone's obviously you know picked the right spot to if they're, if they're an eager train spotter nice little balcony view or maybe that's actually part of the train station I'm not too sure but either way very nice 
And then you have the nice kind of like boat there to take you down the river, Ryan. It's, it's all good. Someone, someone, someone's definitely fought, fought very well at that location. Whoa, that was really freaky. I thought that was like some kind of green gas or something coming towards me. Wow. Okay, PSB's locked. Thank you. I thought it was like Jumanji coming at my face. Like, what the hell? <laughs> some of the power now. Back to 160 we go. We can, can put all the way to the max. To the extreme as this game is you know, that's its uh, tagline. The extreme. Beat the extreme. I'm kind of enjoying this. And, I'm, and I definitely, as I said, I'm really... I'm looking into and I, I will be looking forward to doing more German scenarios because there's a lot there's a lot of German content for this game and hopefully to get more in connected to my kind of German fans and hopefully to even pick up a, a few new German fans out there that might have never come you know maybe came across my channel but saw oh I'm only doing British and maybe a few American kind of roots and stuff like that now just to say I'm, I'm I will be you know I'll be dipping my head into the uh, into the into the into the German land. I'll be I'll be I'll be you know sitting in a few of these trains here and there, tackling the PZB system, the Cipher, whatever. Probably you know it'll probably it'll probably be the longest kind of videos to record in my opinion because if you think about it, if I do something completely wrong, I'll have to do it over again. So it's it's I hopefully. I don't know, it'll probably be a longer experience, but I have, I want it to be an enjoyable experience because there are some really, really nice uh, places to drive uh, here in, uh, in some of the German routes, and I think this is nice, it's just really, really peaceful. I'm enjoying this scenario so far, it's very nice. It doesn't even feel like I'm driving a straight kind of unit. Well, I feel in the UK, you know, but this is, to be honest, I, pref I, I prefer this to the... Uh, Onto the FPS cells. I prefer this to the class 66 and all the kind of diesel stuff we have. I don't know because I'm 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 not anti diesel, but I'm not really pro diesel freight. If you know what I mean. Like obviously in America you have the huge diesels that you know we're gonna obviously get onto the Sherman Hill where we drive the gas turbine slash diesel locomotive, and that's a that's a whole different experience. Well. I don't know, I like electric freight. Like, this is this is nice, it's smooth, it's refined, it's it's very German. Like what's the only unit in the UK we have? We have like the only the class 92 really as the as an electric uh, and also the class 90 uh, kind of freight loco. Right, so we're going past Brol uh Brof Brol Brol Museum. Find out where. Where's the museum? Is it somewhere over there? Is that building? What do you even have to carry them? What do what do these hoppers carry? Wood? Baked beans? I don't know. Is this the is this the museum? Bon Bad uh Goodsburg. Goodsburg, I don't know. Looks like maybe the museum building, I'm not too sure. Anyway, back into the train. This train so far has uh, given me much pleasure, and it hasn't, uh, hasn't, uh, you know, thrown me a lot of problems, I'll say. But I'm very much enjoying myself. There's obviously, I think this is, this is one of the easiest scenarios I've picked, and I picked it for a good reason, because I'm, let's be honest, look, look, I'm not going to throw myself in the deep end here of one of these German scenarios, and then literally have all these kind of, like, uh, like German series, you know, <laughs> AFB and all that, and PZB and uh, uh, LZB. I can't do that. <laughs> I wouldn't throw myself that deep straight away. Obviously, you need to take it slow. So yeah, I do believe this is one of the easier scenarios. And then later on, probably you'll probably be using more of these kind of PZB acknowledgements over rides. What other stuff do we have down here? It's like, no, none of this stuff. This is just a, ooh, what's that? 
this is, he is train heating. Okay, well, does that maybe turn on the heater or something? I'm guessing. I'm guessing, yeah, heater. Then you shout over to the companion, companion, I'm having a bit of rain. Can you please turn the, <laughs> my electricals are not working. <laughs> Let's just test if they do. Yeah, there we go. So you have a... Wait, can you override it? Oh, no, you can't. I thought... <laughs> imagine if uh, if I turned that on and I could actually override it and just mess with the electricals there. That'd be really, really funny. But that's cool. Let's turn them off. We don't need them. Oh, <laughs> left them now in the middle and then just correct that. It would be fun. I don't know. Obviously, like, you know, in FSX, you have shared cockpit. Like, you have the shared cockpit mod or whatever, where you can, like, share a cockpit with someone and have a co-pilot. But I know, like, train drivers don't really have a co-train driver, but, you know, it would be fun. I don't, I don't know. It would be just cool to share an experience with someone. Because, obviously, most people that play this game are, you know, train enthusiasts. And, and what's the best kind of thing that a train enthusiast, like, the, the ultimate thing a train enthusiast could ultimately, like, do is, like, sit in a cab with a driver. If a driver, like, lets them come aboard and sits on the cab, like, in the cab and, you know, gets, you know. And if they're really lucky, and I mean really, really lucky, they go, Ooh, and we are... Ah, here we go again. Wasn't looking out there. Okay, re okay, reset. Cool. Okay, that's good. I didn't lose too many points. Oh, and we have a lot of yellows. What? How do you just go from? Ooh, okay. How the hell do you just go from? Ugh. Again, no warning. Like, what the hell? I hate these bloody things that don't even look at the look at the look at the speeding thing now. This is ridiculous. No warning there for a forty a forty kilometer reduction. I don't get that. Jesus Christ. Well, there goes my career. You know, scoring. I don't I don't care about career. You know me. You know this channel. Like, career is just yep, yeah, most absolute bullshit. Again, just no warning there. I, How am I supposed to know? Like, I've never played on this map or whatever, but how am I supposed to know I'm going to be turning into a siding right now? Anyway, that was all going so well. And I didn't even... I, I wasn't too bothered about the fault. The fault, I can, you know... You, we, we contained that, and... Uh, we 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 got it, we got it under control. But then going past the station, and then the only I think the only thing I had as a reference that we would actually be turning is the signal where it said like I was given a lot of like you know ambers and stuff like that. But really like the, like no, there was no speed restriction up. And like, what's the point of having this HUD if it doesn't even give you the actual legitimate like speed changes? But I don't know. I could have been a bit more insightful and realized oh we're coming up to maybe where we're going to stop and then I should have but whatever <laughs> you know I think every single career scenario that I do when I'm covering these free routes I think they will legitimately be in negative points because I just <laughs> like you know you know my opinion I've already given my opinion on career scenarios in the uh, first look at Train Simulator 2016 but you know anyway Anyway, excellent run, driver. Considering the conditions, that was an impressive run. Before we drop off these hoppers, let's see how you did. Well, I did perfectly until that last thing. Of course I'm not going to get any... I'm going to make up my own star. I get the fucking, you know, invisible star. But anyway... <laughs> 
I uh, unlock this uh, 155 speed thing, but you know, we did a little bit of speed. I mean, nothing too severe, to be honest. These, these were minute, and obviously we had a little, we had a little fault there. Where we played around, but we just had all these minute little speeding. Oh my god, wow! Just these little things, and then, wow, yeah, it was at the end. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is all at the end. Yeah, look, the end started about here at uh, 50, uh, uh, 1751. So all of this speeding is just that little bit that happened at the end. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was the DB uh, BR155 uh, on Cologne uh, to uh, Cologne Koblenz, which is one of the five routes that comes with Train Simulator 2016 if you do upgrade your version from the previous Train Simulator or if you're buying it flat out new. Those are one of the routes, and that's the main loco for this route. There are also some other route, uh, some locos that come with this route, which I'll probably get into like probably some other time. But this is the main one I wanted to get through, and there's obviously two more, which I do believe the next one I'm going to be doing is on the Riviera in the 50s, where we're going to be trying and attempting to drive a. Uh, <laughs> A steam locomotive uh, with drive assist. We're not going to do it. We're not going to do an expo. We're going to do a legacy. I think. Uh, I think the first look video was a bit ambitious. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, uh, this one. Uh, um, stay tuned for the other two, the Sherman Hill and the Riviera in the fifties. So we need to cover all of those. And then after those, we'll obviously get back to, to to the normal kind of things here on the channel. Shout outs again go to uh, W Clifton 968 and H82BU223. <laughs> again, W Clifton 968 and H82BU223. That links to something down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Unfortunately, we ended on that little bit of a, of a bump, but I think other than that, everything went perfect. I think I handled the first and even the second uh, little fault there on the tap there, a little bit mischievous there. The first one was just a complete accident. The second one was a bit being a little bit, you know, distracted, but uh, hopefully we'll do better in the two other ones. But I thoroughly enjoy this, and for all the German viewers out there, I'll be definitely getting into more German stuff. Definitely suggest me some scenarios, etc., on the forums or even in the, link, in the comments down below of like what's good stuff to cover like I like doing the commuter services and stuff like that I'll do probably some expresses on the ICE trains etc so definitely want to be doing more German stuff for you guys and uh, yeah I hope this is I hope this is a, <laughs> the start of many new things with the German community anyway guys I hope you enjoyed it uh, more to come hope you guys have a lovely day and I'll see you next time bye guys we ain't never given up cause we ain't born for that Gotta catch a fast to do Fast to do The ship is cruising, it's true